sailing GBU made their own spray hood and they did it on the dock with a domestic sewing machine. Quite how they managed I have no idea. It's really complicated. I took down our old spray hood apart, undid all the seams, ended up with miles more pieces than I thought I was going to and so now here I am just laying out the big bits on my new fabric, mark round, cut it out, got new windows and uh, well live in hope. Keep watching. Okay, so uh, yeah, don't get too close to the stitching, it's dreadful. It's this horrible fabric. Well, it's sort of plastic on the top and then it's sort of fabric underneath. It's meant to look like leather and it's, um, well, I hope it lasts. But it grabs the needle and the thread and it's just really horrible to stitch. So I've kind of started making the spray hood and uh, this is the first trial fit. Uh, thank goodness I haven't gone, thank goodness I haven't gone too far. So, um, We've got it uh, a bit of piping down the side here, which it goes into, and underneath this it, there's a zip, so we can unzip the hood and leave the piping behind. And uh, good morning. So we can unzip the spray hood from here and leave the piping behind, and uh, take it off, and then we can just zip it straight back on. It's quite easy to fit them. But this is not going quite as well as I'd hoped. <laughs> Amandine and I have been struggling for the last 45 minutes to try and work out what's wrong. Because all I did was I took the old spray hood apart, I undid all the seams, laid all the pieces out on the new fabric, cut them out and sewed them together. So it's identical. Apart from... It doesn't look quite identical. I think it is. I don't think we're stretching. 